So we have like a nine step transition into Leo. It's not really sequential steps. A lot of them occur simultaneously, but we do nine different things to bring them on board smoothly. Um, of course, a lot of collaboration with every campus in the district. Um, talk about connections. We have to stay super connected to every school, every teacher. Um, so we have a transition counselor. She's a social worker, but she serves as transition counselor. And then our regular counselor. So Ms. JW and Mr. Evans are in here with a group who um, came in either yesterday or today. And they are working with them to help make their transition smooth over here. Kids tend to pump credits out here at Leo because, again, you got nothing but time. So you might as well catch up on credits if you need it. So you all do have a dedicated social worker here? We do have a social worker. Her role, her position is actually titled transition counselor, um, but she does kind of a dual uh, role with uh, social work as well. So important. Yeah. So important right now to have Absolutely. that type of She's position amazing. on this campus. Yes. Yeah. What about trends? Is there something that is bringing them in here more than before? Are the numbers increasing, decreasing? Yeah. What are trends looking right. like? Right. Well, we have had just about the same amount of kids every year I've been here except for um, COVID years, um, but the district grows. Great. So that's great. And it's such a small percent. We only have, you know, 400 kids in a year. We've got 40,000 kids in the district. Mm -hmm. Such a small percent, which means the campuses are doing amazing things. Look, I have this. This is how I read to my kids at home. I read, I read them all this book when they turned six. So I have a question about the space. Do y'all utilize it like a library? Yes, like, yes. can you tell me about this? Yes, so it is the first thing we bring them to when they arrive so that they know they're gonna be a reader when they're at Leo. We've had kids tell us on their, uh, as they're exiting, this is the first time I've ever read a book cover to cover. So we do get, yeah, a lot of oh, uh, good feedback on it. So, yeah. so we are gonna go into room one in just a minute down the hall where we have a teacher, uh, Mr. Henson, who teaches, he's certified in math and science, um, middle and high school, and he's responsible for 33 courses, but he only directly teaches 13. <laughs> wow. That's how we all are around here. He'll have a small group with kids in different courses in front of him, and he'll switch between those high-level math courses um, from kid to kid and be able to help every kid in each one of those courses at the same time. So we're going to go into uh, the computer lab. Um, so a lot of our students who are in CTE courses will come down to the lab, they'll get pulled out and come down to work either on their home campus teacher's Google Classroom or our teacher will give assignments in that course. Um, so our teachers know all the CTE teachers on all the campuses and they collaborate with them um, daily almost on these students. My biggest thing about being down here with the kids that come to Leo is when they go back, yes. are they on track? Mm -hmm. Are they learning what their teachers need them to know uh, back on the home right. campus? Because I don't want to send them back right. doing something I gave them and then they're not tested over that at all. Right and they didn't learn anything that their teacher wanted them to learn. Right. So we don't want that to happen. So keeping it with their teachers the best thing. We were in another classroom where we were talking about credit recovery and they said you should take advantage of that opportunity. <laughs> Are the students taking advantage of that opportunity oh, yes. to credit recovery? Just, in fact, it's funny you say that. I was, this isn't for the camera. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. just, just updating that this morning. We have now gotten 21 credits for students so far this year. So is there any gaps like in terms of the classes that are available here This is what's in their home camp. We offer every, every single thing. Now, so they're not restricted because of behavior. They're audit. not. No, we don't make them change. No barriers. There are uh, districts that make them change electives yeah. when they come, but oh, we don't no. do that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's important because yes. that, that prevents a barrier for many kids if they get in trouble exactly. and they can't be able to go. Yes. yes. And, and that they're usually, in trouble again because I know. they're frustrated. And that's, that's usually the course that connects them to school. You know, that's their elective. That's what they like. So we want them to stay in.